Welcome back to another very important episode of The Valentine Show. What is going on with GameStop? Bo with GameStop? GameStop. Come on, man. I don't know how to speak, Valentine. This is important right now. GameStop, you are going to... This is a story. Relax. You are going to understand it. I know we, we, we're, we're talking about Wall Street lingo, economics, et cetera, et cetera. And listen, if I can understand it, you can understand it. Sit back. You are going to understand. You are going to laugh and you're going to understand the power that the people have. Let me give you a quick synopsis. Then we're going to get into all the details of this. Uh, I, I guess you could call it a historical event that's going on in Wall Street, a, a combination of Wall Street, of Reddit, the Internet. It is just banana. It is super exciting and it might get you into the stock market. That way you see that you are able, you yourself are able to get into the stock market and play with the big boys play. Let's get into it. Let's understand what's, what's happening with GameStop. GameStop, the stock is surging like crazy. The price of the stock last year from like $4, I'm not something like that, uh, 4 $8. And now it's up to like 200 and something dollars. Crazy amounts of gains like no other. What's going on? Why is it? Why is it that's going on? Let's get back to the beginning. GameStop, love community. Uh, love business. I'm sorry. Love business by uh, a lot of the people in the gaming community, except when you go to sell a game on GameStop, they want to give you like $2 for a game that's like $50. <laughs> Come on, GameStop should have been bankrupt just for that. But um, <laughs> that's besides the point. They have had uh, financial problems. The COVID crisis accelerated these problems and professional investors in Wall Street know 100% that this company was going down the pipe, was done going down the drain. Let's get into some of the key players in here. Understand this. We need to understand. Let, let before we get into the key players, let's let's understand this this term called shorting. You need to understand it. That way, this whole story makes sense. Let me let me let me let me put the screen back again and let me show you what shorting is. Let me let me give you an example. Take it out the market. That way, you guys understand this phone right here. Uh, somebody's gonna, uh, or, or let's say somebody has this phone and I have an idea. I think the, the price of the phone is going to go down again to short something. You need to have like some knowledge that the price is going to go down. Let me give you this example. I take this phone, right? I go, uh, I take it from Jackie, my wife, Jackie, let me your phone. The phone costs $900. I, I believe it's going to go down. I take it. I borrow it again. You borrow it from Jackie. I'm borrowing it from my wife. I take it. And I go sell it on the street. $900. I wait. A new version comes out. This phone drops, right? It goes down to 500. So what happens? I buy this phone again for $500. And now I gave Jackie her phone. That I I I borrow from her because I just borrowed it for her. She's just uh, doing me a favor, and obviously there, there's interest in that also in 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 the stock market, etc. But Jackie Lee's just doing it for free. I gave her back a phone that is just the same exact one that she had before, but now I have I pocket the difference. I I I, I sold something for nine hundred dollars. I was able to take those nine hundred dollars and just with five hundred of those dollars, I was able to buy another phone. That, that which is what uh, belongs to Jackie, my wife. I give it to her, and now I keep the difference of four hundred. I hope that 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 makes sense because that is the the essence of shorting. You are buying something that you believe is going to go down in value. You sell something that is going to go down in value. You buy it back again when it goes down in value, and you return it to the owner, and then you pocket the difference. This was the position that these people had to get these massive gains because they thought that the stock market, what well, the 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 game stock in particular, the game stop stock was going to go down. But there's a big problem also with this. Listen to this. The major danger in this is that I took the phone from Jackie. I sold it for 900. What happens? A new version comes out and that, that new version is trash. People now are valuing this one more, more. Now I sold it for 900, but to buy it back, I got to spend 1,200 because it, you, you don't find it lower than that because people, it appreciated more. So now instead of making money, I'm losing money because I sold it for 900 thinking that it was going to go down to 400. In reality, I sold it for 900. It went up to 1,200. Now I'm losing money. I'm lo losing $300. So at a loss, 
to cut my losses short. I buy one at twelve hundred dollars. I give Jackie back her phone at twelve hundred, and I and and I lose now three hundred dollars. This last part right here is exactly what happened to GameStop thanks to uh, uh, manipulation, thanks to the internet, thanks to Reddit, thanks to Elon Musk, etc. Let's take this same approach into the stock market. Now we're going to talk about millions, if not billions of dollars and what, <laughs> what, and, and it could be manipulated. That's the thing. And that's what they're accusing this group that we're going to get into the wall street bets. They, they're accusing them of manipulating the market to their advantage, right? Let's get into it. Let me, let's show you some of the key players here. Okay. GameStop, the history of GameStop, like I said, it was doing bad. In comes this guy right here. Let me see where he's at. This guy right here, this young guy too, man. Like in his 30 something, 35, 36. His name is um Ryan Cohen. He's a co-founder or founder of Chewy, right? The, the founder of Chewy. They make um, what is it, things for animals, dogs, etc. Blah, blah, blah. He buys a uh 10% stake and then eventually he puts it up to 13% stake in GameStop last year. Right? To we got and and, and to to you know to Get the company going again. GameStop. Everybody knows GameStop. Why, why are we going to let it go down the drain? We got to put it back up, right? The professional investors knew that already, that GameStop, the company was not in good... Uh, it, the business model was deteriorating. It was not a good business model. They're brick and mortar, and everything was going online. They, the, the investors saw this. So they saw the price, for example, at $4, and I'm just giving you an example. They saw it at $4, they knew that it was going to go down the drain that we're going to, for example, uh, buy at four. But when we're talking about like nine, some of these companies that had these, like, these professional investors had like nine million shares bought in what they call a short position shorting. Again, they, they're going to short it. So they bought it, for example, at $4. They were planning it on selling it at $2, right? So the price that goes down, so they were they were going to uh, sell the same amount of shares and just return it to the place that they uh, got it uh, borrowed from. This guy right here, they, they did this actually before this guy. Some of these positions were staked out before this guy right here got into buying the his, his, his share. What happens? They, he comes in, he, he pens a letter to the board members or the people that were running games. I say, Hey, you, what, what are you guys doing? You guys need to analyze. You guys are not, you know, you're letting this, this company go to waste and you guys are not doing anything regarding that. What happens after this guy gets in, the stock goes up. Okay. Now they're worrying a little bit, right? They're worrying a little bit. The people that staked out the short position, because remember, they, these professional investors, they wanted to go down. The, 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 look, the price when, when he got and he, so he, he got in August. In January, they appointed him to the board. So people, you regular people like, like you and me say, oh, that's, that's good. That's something that's good, right? But the professional investor know that there was something more uh, visceral, something uh, more inside going that that was dooming the company to be doomed. And they believe that GameStop was doomed. So look what happens after they they appoint this guy in uh, in January of this year to the board. This is here. It was in January around January 12, and look how it goes up. Look at <laughs> it goes up. This ah, oh, you guys are not seeing that. Let me put that. Let me put that with up. You guys are not able to see that. Oh man, you guys are not. Okay, let me take my face out. That way you guys see that little um where where am I here? Let me see. Here you go. Okay, here you go. Let me take that face out. That way you guys, my beautiful face. That way you guys see what exactly what's going on. Okay. When he got appointed to the board, look at this jump from massive. Look, from 1995 to 39.91, because he got appointed to the board. But it doesn't stop there. In September. Uh, also of last year, let's take it back to September last year. In comes Wall Street Bets, a forum on Reddit who now has 4.3 million, what they call the generates, 4.3 million users, amateur people, nothing professional. Back in September, somebody posted a post that said like this, bankrupting institutional investors for dummies featuring GameStop. <laughs> so Somebody, a subredditor, noticed that there was a stake, a, a short position staked out against uh, 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 GameStop, right? And again, this is public knowledge. People know this stuff that these 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 huge companies, these 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 um, hedge funds, stake out these positions. They know this, and 
Wall Street Bets, who at that time had 2 million uh, users, started to buy. So a, the opposite started happening. The opposite. Look, so the guy gets, the, the investor, Ryan, right? The guy that I mentioned here, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Cohen, um, gets appointed to the board in January. It goes up. Then, you know, these, the, the news is fl flowing around already on Reddit <laughs> that um, we need to bankrupt these institutionalized investors, right? Institutional investors. And look what starts happening to this stock. The fear of the short seller, the fear of this company, which we're going to get into, Mel Melvin Capital. We're going to talk about that hedge fund right there. The fear, instead of that price going down, the price starts going up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at it right here. From 1995, look, look, look here, to $347.51. OMG. Massive, massive gains and detrimental to these institutional companies that has staked out these, uh, these uh, short positions. What? Okay. So what happens, right? So people start buying a lot of interest, right? Right around here. People start getting interest in GameStop. They start buying, they start buying. So what actually accelerates more the, 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 the price going up now, the people that had short positions on this saw that the price they had to sell. They, the price was not going down like they uh, expected. So now they have to cut their, their losses uh, as soon as possible. So they had to sell further, making it a, um, uh, more, <laughs> more desirable for people because they saw that people were buying and, and people were selling, further boosting the price of inflating it, basically, um, almost unnaturally. This is something that's not, oh, this whole process is not natural. And there's actually investigations going on to see what's going on, right? Because some of this stuff might be illegal. Um, but, I mean, th 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 this is the age of the internet, right? Incomes, guess who? Guess who? Guess who incomes? This guy is like the, the I, I don't know too much of what he believes, but he's like the internet, uh, He's like an internet troll genius at everything, right? This guy, Elon Musk. And he tweets out this game stunk. So now he's generating more interest in the stock. So the regular person, you, me, we're looking at this and we're like, we want to buy, we want to buy, we want to buy. Everybody's getting in the game and everybody wants to get a piece of the pie. It is banana. So this is what basically just happened. You get the regular people beating institutions and look what happened let me let me put let me put you this let me put you this let me let me put my beautiful face back on here look what happened to melvin capital melvin capital the hedge fund uh, quote unquote targeted by reddit board i mean and this is the thing they're saying that wall street is trying to manipulate what's happening the, the way it happened trying to protect wall street instead of you know being on the side of the small guy right Melvin Capital hedge fund targeted by Reddit board closes out uh, uh, closes out of GameStop short position. So they close out there. They were able to sell all their stocks, right, that they had on the short position. And look what happened. They had to be bailed out. CNBC could not confirm the amount of the losses the firm took in the short position. Citadel and Point72 have infused close to $3 billion into Melvin Capital to shore up its finances. They had to be bailed out by other company friends, I guess, whatever. By three billion dollars, the mass Melvin Capital had massive. The exact number again is is not able. Uh, they haven't been able to figure it out. They don't have this information yet. But they had massive losses for taking out those short positions. Like I said with the cell phone, if the price doesn't go down and the price goes up, now you are losing money. These people lost money, and by what it looks, it was billions of dollars. Did you understand that? There's, there's just so many ways of doing, of making money in the stock market. It is, um, you just got to get in the game. You just got to get in the game. I, I'm one that I don't have no money in the stock market, but I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn, right. I'm, I'm, I'm learning and education is very important. You need to know exactly what do, you're doing. Always put the amount that you are able to lose in the stock market. If you can lose X amount of money, do not 
put it in. There was a guy, uh, you know, Robin Hood is really popular. Robin Hood supposedly lends money out to people. And there was a guy who committed a suicide because Robin Hood lent money to this person to uh, invest in the stock market. They ended up losing it because they don't know what they're doing. You got it. Again, it's very, it's very volatile, the stock market. You got to know what you're doing. Um, he lost it all. He he made a suicide uh, note saying that it was Robin Hood's for, fault for lending him the money, et cetera. It's, it's nobody's fault at the end of the day. It's your fault if you invest money and you don't know what you're doing. How are you going to take these massive amounts of money and invest it in something that you have no idea what you're doing? Look what happened to the professionals. They lost bigly. Leave me a comment. Give me a share. Help me do all that good stuff. Remember, YouTube is not uh, promoting none of my videos and only with your help is that is I'm going to make it grow, guys. I'm going to make it grow only with your help. Hit that like, hit that share. God bless, God speed me, Valentine. I am out.